Find the inverse Laplace transform of 2s minus 7, all being divided by s squared minus 16. Solution. First thing to notice is that we're going to be using these formulas. The inverse Laplace transform of s over s squared minus k squared is equal to cosine, cosinch of kt. It's, it's cosine if there's a plus here. If there's a minus, it's cosinch. And the inverse Laplace transform of k over s squared minus k squared, this is equal to the hyperbolic sine of kt. So if it's cosinch, it has an s. If it's cinch, it has a k. If it's hyperbolic, it's got a minus. If it's just regular cosine and sine, then these are pluses. So how do I know to use these in this problem? Well, if you break this up as 2s over s squared minus 16, minus 7 over s squared minus 16, you'll see that these formulas readily apply. Let's go ahead and do that. So using the fact that the inverse Laplace transform is linear, we can write this as 2s over s squared minus 16, minus, skipping some steps here, 7 over s squared minus 16. The step I skipped was this one. Let me just sketch it in up here in case that's not clear. So it's 2s s squared minus 16 minus 7 over s squared minus 16. And then you just take the Laplace transform of both pieces. Let's go ahead and pull out the constants. So we can do that because the inverse Laplace is linear. So pulling out the 2, here we get s over s squared minus 16. And then here we get minus 7, inverse Laplace, of 1 over s squared minus 16. Almost there. Okay, so here we have an s. That means we're going to get a cosinch. And here k is 4, right, because 4 squared is 16. Here, we don't have an s. And again, k is 4. So what we'll do is we'll cheat a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and sketch in a 4 here and then divide by it over here. And now we're good to go. So we have the 2. And this whole piece here, this is going to be a hyperbolic cosine. So this will be the cosinch of 4t. And then here we have the 7 fourths. And this will be a hyperbolic sine. So cinch of 4t. And that's it.